Question number one. Acadians are descendants of A. French colonists who settled in the maritime provinces in 1604. B. First nations who settled in the maritime provinces in 1604. C. French colonists who settled in the Perry provinces in 1604. D. Inuit who settled in Yukon in 1604. Correct answer is A. French colonists who settled in the maritime provinces in 1604. Question number two. After the defeat of the French in Canada, what were the French-speaking Catholic people known as? A. Canadians B. Francois C. Quebecers D. Acadians Correct answer is A. Canadians Question number 3. After World War I, the British Empire evolved into a free association of states known as A. British Union of Nations B. British Commonwealth of Nations C. British Dominion of Nations D. The British League Correct answer is B. British Commonwealth of Nations Anglophones are A. French speaking people B. English speaking immigrants C. People who speak English as a first language D. People who speak languages other than English Correct answer is C. People who speak English as a first language Question number 5 Approximately how many Canadian soldiers served in Second World War? A. 100,000 B. 500,000 C. 800,000 D. 1 million Correct answer is D. 1 million Question number 6 Britain advocated interning Austro-Hungarian subjects as enemy aliens from during World War I A. True B. False Correct answer is B. False Question number 7 British Columbia is known as Canada's Pacific Gateway because A. Because it is on the Pacific coast of Canada B. Billions of dollars in products are shipped to and from Asia C. Because most of its residents work in the fishing industry on the Pacific Ocean D. Because there are many beaches along its Pacific coast Correct answer is B. Billions of dollars in products are shipped to and from Asia Question number 8 By the end of the Second World War, Canada had the largest navy in the world A. True B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Question number 9. Canada contributed more to the Allied air effort than any other Commonwealth country. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question number 10. Canada Day is on A. The first day of July B. First Monday of July C. The second Monday of July D. The third Monday of July Correct answer is A. The first day of July Question 11. Canada got its name from word Kanata which means A. Family B. Country C. Home D. Village Correct answer is D. Village Question number 12 Chief Tukamsah aided British soldiers in the war of 1812 A. True B. False Correct answer is A. True Question number 13. 
Due to the effort of which Canadian, Quebec granted women the right to vote in 1940? A. Kathleen Wynne B. Agnes McPhail C. Rachel Notley D. Teresa Cascarin Correct answer is D. Therese Cascarin Question number 14. How many Canadian soldiers served in World War I? A. About 100,000 B. More than 300,000 C. More than 400,000 D. More than 600,000 Correct answer is D. More than 600,000 Question number 15. In 1792, some black Nova Scotians left Canada to establish the city of Freetown in what country? A. Sierra Leone B. Somalia C. Ivory Coast D. South Africa Correct answer is A. Sierra Leone Question number 16 In 1814, who led an expedition from Nova Scotia that burned down the White House and other public buildings in Washington, D.C. A. Chief Tecumseh B. Robert Ross C. Sir Richard Brooke D. Charles the Salaberry Correct answer is B. Robert Ross Question number 17 In the earlier days, what form of transportation did Aboriginal peoples and fur traders use? A. Railway B. Highway C. Air D. Waterways Correct answer is D. Waterways Question number 18 In what parts of Canada did the Aboriginal peoples first settle? A. The North and the Great Lakes regions B. The Great Lake regions on the south C. All regions D. The Prairies on the south Correct answer is C. All regions Question number 19 Is current Canada-US border outcome of Second World War? A. True B. False Correct answer is B. False. Question number 20. Lord Durham recommended that Upper and Lower Canada should remain separate. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is B. False. Question number 21. Métis is the descendant of A. First Nations men and Acadians women B. French or English women and First Nations men C. First Nations women and French or English traders D. Acadians men and French women Correct answer is C. First Nations women and French or English traders Question number 22. Nunavut become a territory A. March 5, 1999 B. April 1, 1999 C. May 2, 1999 D. November 15, 1999 Correct answer is B. April 1, 1999 Question number 23 RCMP stands for A. The Royal Canadian Mountain Police B. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police C. The Real Canadian Mounted Police D. The Royal Central Mounted Police Correct answer is B. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police Question number 24 Responsibilities of the provincial government include a. Health and Communication B. Health and Education C. Health and Provincial Defense D. Health and Recycling Correct answer is B. Health and Education Question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 द एबोरिजिनल पीपल्स ऑफ कनाडा आर ए द फर्स्ट इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ कनाडा बी पीपल बोर्न इन कनाडा सी फ्रेंच एक्सप्लोरर्स डी इमिग्रेंट्स फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए द फर्स्ट इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ कनाडा क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 The Battle of Vimeridge is important to Canadians because A it was the last battle of Second World War B it was the last battle of First World War C it was the first victory of the First World War D it symbolized Canada as a nation The correct answer is D it symbolized Canada as a nation Question number 27 The early explorers first came to Atlantic Canada because they wanted to a look for new land b settle there and attract more settlers c fish and trade with first nations people d look for gold Correct answer is c fish and trade with first nations people Question number 28 The first representative assembly was elected in what city in 1758? A. Quebec City. B. Halifax. C. Toronto. D. Fredericton. Correct answer is B. Halifax. Question number 29. The founding peoples of Canada are A. Aboriginal French British. B. French British C Aboriginal Chinese D German French British Correct answer is A Aboriginal French British Question number 30 The Hudson's Bay Company adopted what animal as its symbol A polar bear B beaver C Canada goose D horse Correct answer is B beaver Question number 31 The Hudson Bay Company controlled the northern lands of Canada for how many years A 100 B 200 C 300 D 400 Correct answer is B 200 Question number 32 The representatives of the provinces who worked together to establish a new country are known as fathers of confederation A true B false Correct answer is A true Question number 33 The skilled and courageous men who traveled by canoe were called what? A. Voyagers and explorers. B. Pioneers. C. Karudaba and explorers. D. Voyagers and Karudaba. Correct answer is D. Voyagers and Karudaba. Question number 34 The state of World War 2 and public opinion in BC led to the forcible relocation of Canadians of what ethnic origin A German B Italian C Chinese D Japanese Correct answer is D Japanese Question number 35 The United Empire loyalists were A the first nations and the inuits b french and british settlers c settlers from the united states at the time of american revolution d the first nations correct answer is c settlers from the united states at the time of american revolution question number 36 to make immigration to western canada easier the government A build the Trans Canada Highway B build the Canadian Pacific Railway C lower the requirement for immigration to Western Canada 
they completed the St. Lawrence Waterway? Correct answer is B. Build the Canadian Pacific Railway. Question number 37. What Aboriginal tribe originally resided in the Great Lakes region? A. Sex, B. Horan Vendant, C. Cree, D. Denny. Correct answer is B. Huron Vendant. Question number 38. What act divided the province of Quebec into Upper Canada and Lower Canada? A. The Constitutional Act, B. The Quebec Act, C. The Canada Act, D. The Dominion Act. Correct answer is A. The Constitutional Act. Question number 39. What battle secured the Canadians' reputation for order as the shock troops of British Empire? A. Battle of Partyburg. B. Battle of Vimirich. C. Battle of V14. D. Battle of Amiens. Correct answer is B. Battle of Vimirich. Question number 40. What beach did Canadians storm and capture during D-Day invasion? A. Uta, B. Omaha, C. Juno, D. Swat. Correct answer is C. Juno. Question number 41. What British North American colony was first to attain full responsible government? A. New Brunswick, B. Quebec, C. Nova Scotia, D. Newfoundland. Correct answer is C. Nova Scotia. Question number 42. What decade did the Great Depression occur? A. 1920s, B. 1930s, C. 1940s, D. 1950s. Correct answer is B. 1930s. Question number 43. What did the Quebec Act of 1774 establish? A. Religious freedom for Catholics. B. Allowed citizens to hold public office. C. Accommodated the principles of British institutions to the reality of the province. D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 44. What document legalized a confederation? A. The Confederation Act. B. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms. C. The British North America Act. D. The North America Confederation Act. Correct answer is C. The British North America Act. Question number 45. What is confederation? A. Countries joined together to fight in World War I. B. Provinces joined together to become a new country. C. Countries joined together in the fight in World War II. D. Colonies merged together to form a country. Correct answer is B. Provinces joined together to become a new country. Question number 46. What is the British North America Act? A. It made the United States an independent country. B. It strengthens the protection Canada gets from Great Britain. C. It made confederation legal. D. It made Canada a bilingual country. Correct answer is C. It made confederation legal. Question number 47. What is the meaning of poppy on Remembrance Day? A. Wearing it to commemorate the sacrifice of Canadian soldiers. B. Wearing it to commemorate the sacrifices of the British soldiers. C. Wearing it to celebrate the first day of winter. D. Wearing it to commemorate confederation. Correct answer is A. Wearing it to commemorate the sacrifice of Canadian soldiers. Question number 48. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट वॉट इज द अंडरग्राउंड रेल रोड ए एन अंडरग्राउंड सबवे सिस्टम बी द फर्स्ट रेलवे टू क्रॉस नॉर्थ अमेरिका सी द फर्स्ट रेलवे टू क्रॉस कैनडा डी ए नेटवर्क यूज बाई स्लेव्स टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स टू कैनडा करेक्ट आंसर इज डी ए नेटवर्क यूज बाई स्लेव्स टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स टू कैनडा Question number forty-nine. What province did Sir George Etienne Cartier negotiate to become a part of Canada? A. North Territories, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. B. Yukon, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. C. British Columbia, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. D. Northwest Territories, Manitoba, British Columbia. Correct answer is D. Northwest Territories, Manitoba, British Columbia. Question number fifty. Which symbol was adopted by Hudson Bay Company? A. Moose. B. Deer. C. Beaver. D. Bear. Correct answer is C. Beaver. Question number fifty-one. What was did Canada participate in as a country? A. World War One. World War Two. The Zulu War. B. World War One, World War Two, the South African War. C. World War One, World War Two, the War of 1812. D. World War One, World War Two, the American Revolution. Correct answer is B. World War One, World War Two, the South African War. Question number fifty-two. What was one of the reasons the United States invaded Canada in 1812? A. To gain access to the fur trade. B. To take back slaves that escaped to Canada. C. To use Canada as a stepping stone to invade Europe. D. Because they believed it would be easy to conquer Canada. Correct answer is B. Because they believed it would be easy to conquer Canada. Question number fifty-three. What was the head tax? A. A tax based on number of members in a household. B. A tax based on number of children in a household. C. A tax based on number of adults over eighteen years of age in a household. D. A discriminatory race tax, race-based tax to enter Canada. Correct answer is D. A discriminatory race-based tax to enter Canada. Question number fifty-four. What was the name of the new country established in Confederation? A. Canada of Britain. B. Canada. C. Dominion of Canada. D. Canada. Correct answer is C. Dominion of Canada. Question number fifty-five. What was the result and significance of the War of eighteen twelve? A. Canada won lots of land in the war. B. The United States of America won the war. C. Canada kept its independence from the United States of America. D. Canada kept its independence from Britain. Correct answer is C. Canada kept its independence from the United States of America. Question number fifty-six. What year did the Montreal Stock Exchange open? A. eighteen thirty. B. eighteen thirty one. C. eighteen thirty two. D. eighteen thirty three. Correct answer is C. eighteen thirty two. Question number fifty seven. What is the name of the predecessor of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police? A. Northwest Mounted Police. B. Dominion Mounted Police. C. Federal Canadian Police. D. Queen's Police Force of Canada. Correct answer is A. Northwest Mounted Police. Question number fifty-eight. When did Canada become a country? A. Sixteen sixty-seven. B. Seventeen sixty-seven. C. Eighteen sixty-seven. D. Nineteen sixty-seven. Correct answer is C. Eighteen sixty-seven. Question number fifty-nine. 
When did Nunavut become a territory? A. 1999 B. 2000 C. 2001 D. 2002 Correct answer is A. 1999 Question number 60. When did the French settlers first establish communities on the St. Lawrence River? A. The late 1500s B. The early 1600s C. The late 1600s D. The early 1700s Correct answer is B. The early 1600s Question number 61. When was the Bank of Canada created? A. 1929 B. 1931 C. 1934 D. 1939 Correct answer is C. 1934 Question number 62 When was the Canadian Pacific Railway completed? A. The late 1500s B. The late 1600s C. The late 1700s D. The late 1800s Correct answer is D. The late 1800s Question number 63 Where did the first European settlers in Canada come from? A. England B. China C. Germany D. France Correct answer is D. France Question number 64. Which act defined the responsibilities of federal and provincial governments of Canada? A. The Federal and Provincial Act B. The Confederation Act C. The British North America Act D. The Governing Act Correct answer is C. The British North America Act Question number 65. Which countries participated and fought in the War of 1812? A. Canada, Great Britain, the United States of America. B. Canada, French, Great Britain. C. The United States of America, the British Empire. D. Canada, French, the United States of America. Correct answer is C. The United States of America and the British Empire. Question number 66. Which ethnic group was very important in the completion of Canadian Pacific Railway? A. Chinese B. French C. German D. Japanese Correct answer is A. Chinese Question number 67. Which industry did most early European settlers work in? A. Forestry B. Fishing C. Farming D. Fur trading Correct answer is D. Fur trading Question number 68 Which Prime Minister granted the women's right to vote? A. Sir Wilfrid Laurier B. Johnny Macdonald C. William Lyon Mackazi King D. Sir Robert Borden Correct answer is D. Sir Robert Borden Question number 69 Which province is the last one to join Canada? A. Manitoba B. Ontario C. Newfoundland D. Yukon Correct answer is C. Newfoundland Question number 70. Which trade did the Hudson's Bay Company control? A. Fur B. Oil C. Coal D. Lumber Correct answer is A. Fur Question number 71. Which two countries battled on plains of Abraham between 1700 to 1759? A. In the 1700s, France and Spain battled for control of North America. 
B. In the 1700s, Spain and Great Britain battled for control of North America. C. In the 1700s, France and Great Britain battled for the control of North America. D. In the 1700s, Spain and Portugal battled for the control of North America. Correct answer is C. In the 1700s, France and Great Britain battled for control of North America. Question number 72. Who became the first French Canadian Prime Minister? A. Pierre Trudeau B. John Cheritian C. Wilford Laurier D. Louis St. Laurent Correct answer is C. Wilford Laurier Question number 73. Who became the first woman MP in 1921? A. Margaret Thatcher B. Kathleen Wine C. Agnes Macphail D. Rachel Notley Correct answer is Agnes Macphail Question number 74 Who composed the poem in Flanders Fields? A. Arthur Curry B. John McKee C. Joseph Flanders D. Phil Edwards Correct answer is B. John McRae Question number 75 Who is the father of Manitoba? A. Louis Rail B. Alfred Boyd C. Mark Campbell Girard D. Henry Joseph Clark Correct answer is A. Louis Rail Question number 76. Who led the Canadian Corps in the last 100 days of World War I? A. Arthur Curry B. Sam Steele C. Donald Smith D. Gabriel Dumont Correct answer is A. Arthur Curry Question number 77. Who led thousands of loyalist Mohawk Indians into Canada? A. Sir Guy Carleton B. Pierre Lemoyne C. Joseph Brandt D. John Tallon Correct answer is Joseph Brandt Question number 78 Who led Upper Canada to ward abolition in 1793? A. John Graves Simcoe B. Joseph Brandt C. Mary Ann Shad Query D. Guy Carleton Correct answer is A. John Graves Simcoe Question number 79 Who suggested the term Dominion of Canada? A. Sir John A. Macdonald B. Sir Leonard Tilly C. Sir Louis Hippolyte Lafortan D. Sir George Attenay Cartier Correct answer is B. Sir Leonard Tilly Question number 80 Who was Louis Rail? A. The second Prime Minister of Canada B. Emmett's leader and the father of Manitoba C. The Prime Minister of Canada during World War II D. The Prime Minister of Canada during World War I Correct answer is B. Emmett's leader and the father of Manitoba. Question 81. Who was the first Prime Minister of Canada? A. Sir Wilfrid Laurier. B. Bill Clinton. C. Louis Lafontaine. D. Sir John A. Macdonald. Correct answer is D. Sir John A. Macdonald. Question 82. Who was the first to draw a map of Canada's east coast? A. Christopher Columbus. B. John Cabot. C. Jacques Cartier. D. Aboriginal Peoples. Correct answer is B. 
John Cabot. Question 83. Who's on a $10 note? A. Sir Wilfred Laurier. B. John A. Macdonald or Viola Desmond. C. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. D. Sir Robert Laird Borden. Correct answer is B. John A. Macdonald or Viola Desmond. Question 84. Who's on a $100 note? A. Sir Wilfred Laurier. B. John A. Macdonald. C. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. D. Sir Robert Laird Borden. Correct answer is D. Sir Robert Laird Borden. Question 85. Who's on a $20 note? A. Sir Wilfred Laurier. B. John A. Macdonald. C. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. D. Sir Robert Laird Borden. Correct answer is C. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Question 86. Who's on a $5 note? A. Sir Wilfred Laurier. B. John A. Macdonald. C. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. D. Sir Robert Laird Borden. Correct answer is A. Sir Wilfred Laurier. Question 87. Why did armed rebellions occur in 1837 to 38? A. Lack of food. B. Progress toward full democracy was too slow. C. Oppressive government. D. Lack of freedoms. Correct answer is B. Progress toward full democracy was too slow. Question 88. Why did Prime Minister Macdonald establish a mounted police force? A. Patrol the US Canada border. B. As a militia force to bolster the military. C. Pacify the West and assist in negotiations with the natives. D. Survey the Canadian citizens. Correct answer is C. Pacify the West and assist in negotiations with the natives. Question 89. Adrian Clarkson, who established the Clarkson Cup in 2005, is the first Governor General of Asian origin. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question 90. How many Canadians have been awarded the Victoria Cross? A. 80. B. 90. C. 96. D. 102. Correct answer is C. 96. Question 91. In what year was the national flag first raised? A. 1965 B. 1970 C. 1975 D. 1980 Correct answer is A. 1965 Question 92 the Canadian coat of arms and motto Amari Usqui ad Mayor means A. From land to sky B. From sea to land C. From sea to sea D. From coast to coast Correct answer is C. From sea to sea Question 93 The Canadian flag is a. A white maple leaf with red background. B. A red maple leaf with black background. C. A red maple leaf in the center, white background with a red border on each end. D. A red maple leaf in the center, white background with a black border on each end. 
correct answer is see a red maple leaf in the center white background with a red border on each end question 94 the highest honor available to canadians is a the queen's cross b the victoria cross c the victoria medal d the queen's medal correct answer is b the victoria cross Question 95. The tower in the center of the Parliament buildings in Ottawa is called A. C. N. Tower B. Ottawa Tower C. Peace Tower D. Parliament Tower Correct answer is C. Peace Tower Question 96. What animal is on the nickel? A. Eagle B. Groundhog C. Canadian Geese D. Beaver Correct answer is D. Beaver Question 97 What are the first two lines of O Canada, the national anthem? A. O Canada our home and native land. We stand on guard for thee. B. O Canada. Keep our land glorious and free. We stand on guard for thee. C. O Canada. Our home and native land. True patriot love in all of us command. D. O Canada. Our home and native land. The true north strong and free. Correct answer is. See, O Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all of us command. Question 98. What designs are on a 25 cents quarter? A branch of maple leaf. B. Looney. C. Beaver. D. Caribou. Correct answer is D. Caribou. Question 99. What designs are on a 5 cents nickel? A branch of maple leaf. B. Looney. C. Beaver. D. Caribou. Correct answer is C. Beaver. Question 100. What do we celebrate on Canada's Day? A. Multiculturalism. B. Queen's birthday. C. Freedom of speech. D. Anniversary of Confederation. Correct answer is D. Anniversary of Confederation. Question 101. What is Canada's national winter and summer sport? A. Hockey and basketball. B. Hockey and lacrosse. C. Skiing and lacrosse. D. Skiing and basketball. Correct answer is B. Hockey and lacrosse. Question 102. What is the architectural style of the Parliament buildings? A. Gothic Revival. B. Romanesque. C. Neoclassical. D. Baroque. Correct answer is A. Gothic Revival. Question 103. What is the image found originally on the coat of arms? A. Beaver. B. Maple leaves. C. Roses. D. Horse. Correct answer is B. Maple Leaves. Question 104. What is the name of the honors system Canada uses to recognize outstanding citizens? A. Canada Award. 
B. Valor of Canada. C. Victoria Cross. D. Order of Canada. Correct answer is D. Order of Canada. Question 105. What is the name of the Royal Anthem of Canada? A. O. Canada. B. Praise the Queen. C. God save the Queen. D. Lord save the Queen. Correct answer is C. God save the Queen. Question 106. What is the national symbol of Canada? A. Hockey puck. B. Canada goose. C. Maple leaf. D. Beaver. Correct answer is C. Maple leaf. Question 107. What is the symbol used in the Quebec flag that is also an important French symbol? A. Maple leaf. B. Poppy flower. C. Rose. D. Fleur de Lis. Correct answer is D. Fleur de Lis. Question 108. What is the title of Canada's national anthem? A. O. Canadian. B. A. Canadian. C. O. Canada. D. O. Correct answer is C. O. Canada. Question 109. When is Canada Day? A. July 1st. B. July 10th. C. July 21st. D. July 31st. Correct answer is A. July 1st. Question 110. Where did the red white red flag pattern come from? A. House of Commons. B. Senate. C. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. D. Royal Military College. Correct answer is D. Royal Military College. Question 111. Which building was rebuilt in 1922 after the accidental fire? A. The East Block of the Parliament Building. B. Center Block of the Parliament Building. C. The West Block of the Parliament Building. D. Peace Tower. Correct answer is B. Center Block of the Parliament Building. Question 112. Who donated the Stanley Cup to the National Hockey League? A. Prime Minister John Stanley. B. Governor General Lord Stanley. C. Hockey Commissioner George Stanley. D. A jeweler named Lord Stanley. Correct answer is B. Governor General Lord Stanley. Question 113. Who was the first Canadian to be awarded the Victoria Cross? A. Lieutenant Alexander Roberts Dunn. B. Corporal Philip Connell. C. Able Seaman William Hall. D. Captain Billy Bishop. Correct answer is A. Lieutenant Alexander Roberts Dunn. Question 114. In 1988, Canada enacted free trade with which country? A. Mexico. B. China. C. Russia. D. The United States of America. Correct answer is D. The United States of America. Question 115. 
NAFTA is a free trade agreement between A. Canada, USA, and Mexico B. Canada, USA, and France C. Canada, France, and Britain D. Canada, China, and the USA Correct answer is A. Canada, USA, and Mexico Question 116. NAFTA stands for A. North American Freedom of Trade Agreement B. North American Free Training Agreement C. North American Free Trade Agreement D. North American Freedom of Thoughts Agreement Correct answer is C. North American Free Trade Agreement Question 117. The three main types of industry in Canada are A. Natural resources, services, and oil B. Manufacturing, services, and natural resources C. Oil, fishery, and lumber D. Services, tourism, and fishery Correct answer is B. Manufacturing, services, and natural resources Question 118. What industry makes up a large percentage of Canada's exports? A. Service industries. B. Manufacturing industries. C. Natural resource industries. D. Tourism industries. Correct answer is C. Natural resource industries. Question 119. Where is the Peace Arch located? A. Washington, D.C. B. Blaine, Washington. C. Detroit, Michigan. D. Seattle, Washington. Correct answer is B. Blaine, Washington. Question 120. Who is Canada's largest trading partner? A. The United States of America B. China C. The United Kingdom D. Japan Correct answer is A. The United States of America Question 121 A secret ballot means a. No one knows the voting location until the day of the election. B. No one can accompany you to a polling station. C. No one should look at who you have voted for and how you voted. D. No one knows the list of candidates until the day of the election. Correct answer is C. No one should look at who you have voted for and how you voted. Question 122. A voter information card is A. A document indicating that you are on the voters list and The location of voting B. A list of candidates running in an election C. A form that tells you where to vote and who to vote for D. A document indicating that you have been chosen to vote Correct answer is A. A document indicating that you are on the voters list and the location of voting. Question 123. According to the Constitution, when does an election have to be held? A. Every two years. B. Within four years of the last election. C. Whenever the Senate decides. D. Every four years following the most recent general election. Correct answer is D. Every four years following the most recent general election. Question 124. After a federal election, how is the government formed? A. The presiding prime minister appoints the new prime minister. B. The queen selects a party to be the party in power. C. The governor general appoints the prime minister. D. 
the political party with the most elected members becomes the party in power. Correct answer is D. The political party with the most elected members becomes the party in power. Question 125. An electoral district is A. The area where elections are held B. The area where candidates live in C. The area represented by a member of the House of Commons D. The area you vote in Correct answer is C. The area represented by a member of the House of Commons Question 126 by election day, if you are not listed in the National Register of Electors or do not receive a voter information card, it's too late to be added to the voters list. A true. B false. Correct answer is B false. Question 127. By laws are the responsibility of which level of government? A. State B. Federal C. Provincial slash Territorial D. Municipal Correct answer is D. Municipal Question 128 Currently, which party is Her Majesty's loyal opposition? A Liberal Party of Canada B. Green Party C. Conservative Party of Canada D. New Democratic Party Correct answer is C. Conservative Party of Canada Question 129 During election time, what is a polling station? A. The place you vote B. The place candidates give speeches. C. The place candidates debate. D. The place where votes are counted. Correct answer is A. The place you vote. Question 130. How do you mark a federal election ballot? A. Mark an X in the circle beside the name of your chosen candidate. B. Initial beside the name of your chosen candidate. C. Circle the name of your chosen candidate. D. Highlight the name of your chosen candidate. Correct answer is A. Mark an X in the circle beside the name of your chosen candidate. Question 131. How is a government formed after a federal election? A. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The Prime Minister is appointed by the Queen. B. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The leader of the party becomes the Prime Minister. C. The Queen chooses both the party in power and the Prime Minister. D. The Governor General appoints the Prime Minister and the party in power. Correct answer is B. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The leader of the party becomes the Prime Minister. Question 132. How is the Prime Minister decided? A. Appointed by the Queen. B. Elected by Canadian citizens. C. The leader of the party in power. D. Elected by members of the Parliament. Correct answer is C. The leader of the party in power. Question 133. How many electoral districts are there in Canada? A. 273 B. 308 C. 338 D. 315 Correct answer is C. 338 Question 134. In a federal election, Canadians vote for A. The Premier 
B. The head of state. C. The representative in parliament. D. The representative in the Senate. Correct answer is C. The representative in parliament. Question 135. Name the official federal political parties represented in the House of Commons and their respective leaders. A. Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Jagmeet Singh. B. Conservative Party, Stephen Harper, Liberal Party, Michael Ignatioff, Parti Québécois, Jill Duceppe. C. Conservative Party, Stephen Harper, Liberal Party, Michael Ignatioff, Green Party, Elizabeth May. D. Conservative Party, Rona Ambrose, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Tom Mulcair. Correct answer is A. Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Jagmeet Singh. Question 136. No one including family members, your employer, or union representative has the right to insist that you tell them how you voted. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question 137. The political parties that are not in power are known as a. The other parties. B. The out of power parties. C. The opposing parties. D. The opposition parties. Correct answer is D. The opposition parties. Question 138. The role of the opposition parties is A. To support the Prime Minister. B. To vote against all bills. C. To hold a protest against government proposals. D. To oppose or to improve government proposals. Correct answer is D. To oppose or to improve government proposals. Question 139. Voting by secret ballot means a. No one can look at who you have voted for. B. No one can vote. C. The voter should not tell anyone who he slash she is voting for. D. The voting location is a secret. Correct answer is A. No one can look at who you have voted for. Question 140. What are the three requirements to vote in a federal election? A. A Canadian resident, at least 21 years old, and on the voters list. B. A Canadian citizen, at least 18 years old, and on the voters list. C. A Canadian citizen, at least 16 years old, and on the voters list. D. Canadian citizen, have never committed a crime, male. Correct answer is B. A Canadian citizen, at least 18 years old, and on the voters list. Question 141. What information does the Register of Electors contain? A. A list of all Canadian citizens. B. A list of all Canadian citizens who are willing to vote. C. A list of everyone in Canada. D. A list of all Canadian citizens who are qualified to vote. Correct answer is D. A list of all Canadian citizens who are qualified to vote. Question 142. What is indicated on a federal election ballot? A. Your personal information, including name and address. B. The list of candidates for Prime Minister. C. The list of political parties in Canada. D. The list of candidates in your electoral district. Correct answer is D. The list of candidates in your electoral district. 
Question 143. What is listed on an election ballot? A. The voters list. B. All the political parties in Canada. C. Instructions for who to vote for. D. The candidates in your electoral district. Correct answer is D. The candidates in your electoral district. Question 144. What is one of the main duties of a political party? A. Plan for events and celebrations. B. Draft bills as directed by the Queen. C. Propose ideas on how the government should run. D. Support the Prime Minister's ideas. Correct answer is C. Propose ideas on how the government should run. Question 145. What is the fixed election date of the federal election in Canada? A. There is no fixed date. B. The third Monday in October every four years after the most recent election. C. January 31st every five years after the last election. D. March 31 STH every four years after the most recent election. Correct answer is the third Monday in October every four years after the most recent election. Question 146. What is the meaning of party in power? A. The political party with the most elected representatives. B. The political party responsible for power generation. C. The political party responsible for nuclear power. D. The political party with the most members. Correct answer is A. The political party with the most elected representatives. Question 147. What should you do if you don't receive a voter's card? A. Call your parliament representative. B. Contact Elections Canada. C. Assume you are on the voters list since you are Canadian. D. Call the police. Correct answer is B. Contact Elections Canada. Question 148. When must federal elections be held? A. On the third Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. B. On the third Monday in September every four years following the most recent general election. C. On the first Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. D. On the third Wednesday in September every four years following the most recent general election. Correct answer is A. On the third Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. Question 149. When would it constitute a minority government? A. The party in power holds more than half of the seats in the House of Commons. B. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the House of Commons. C. The party in power holds more than half of the seats in the Senate. D. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the Senate. Correct answer is B. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the House of Commons. Question 150. Which party is Her Majesty's loyal opposition? A. The party the Queen chooses. B. The party with the least elected representatives. C. The party with the second most elected representatives. D. The party in power. Correct answer is C. The party with the second most elected representatives. Question 151. Which party is the federal party in power? A. Liberal Party of Canada. B. New Democratic Party. C. Bloc Québécois. D. Conservative Party of Canada. Correct answer is A. Liberal Party of Canada. Question 
Question 152. Who has the right to run as a candidate in federal elections? A. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 21 years old. B. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. C. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 25 years old. D. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 50 years old. Correct answer is any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Question 153. Who is Canada's Prime Minister? A. Jill Joseph. B. Jack Layton. C. Stephen Harper. D. Justin Trudeau. Correct answer is D. Justin Trudeau. Question 154. Who is the leader of the Federal Opposition Party? A. Rona Ambrose. B. Stephen Harper. C. Andrew Scheer. D. Thomas Mulcair. Correct answer is C. Andrew Scheer. Question 155. Who's in charge of First Nation Reserves? A. Band Chiefs B. Mayors C. Chief Minister D. Minister of Aboriginal Peoples Correct answer is A. Band Chiefs Question 156 What principles out of the following is Canada's constitution based on? A. Peace, order, and good government. B. War, order, and good government. C. Multiculturalism, peace, and order. D. Mobility rights, order, and good government. Correct answer is A. Peace, order, and good government. Question 157. To which of the following communities do the majority of Canadians belong? A. Muslims B. Hindu C. Christians D. Jewish Correct answer is C. Christians Question 158 Which of the following were the first four provinces in the Canadian Confederation? A. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Alberta, and Manitoba. B. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. C. Manitoba, Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. D. New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Correct answer is B. New Brunswick. Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Question 159. What is the significance of hockey? A. None of the above. B. It is a national summer sport. C. It is the most popular spectator sport in Canada and is also its national winter sport. D. Canada won a gold medal in 2008 S Olympics in this event. Correct answer is C. It is the most popular spectator sport in Canada and is also its national winter sport. Question 160. What are the three branches of the Canadian government? A. Executive, Senate, and Judicial. B. Executive, Legislative, and Monarchy. C. Executive, Police, and Judicial. D. Executive, Legislative, and and judicial. Correct answer is D. Executive, Legislative, and Judicial. Question 161. Which political party is in power in Yukon Territory? A. Progressive Conservatives. B. New Democrats. C. Liberal. D. Yukon Party. Correct answer is C. Liberal.
Question 162. What is the name of the Premier of Yukon Territory? A. Premier Dennis Fenty. B. Premier Bob McLeod. C. Premier Daryl Paslowski. D. Premier Sandy Silver. Correct answer is D. Premier Sandy Silver. Question 163. What is the name of the leader of the opposition in Yukon Territory? A. Trevor Harding B. Liz Hansen C. Stacy Hassard D. Arthur Mitchell Correct answer is D. Arthur Mitchell Question 164 What is the name of the Commissioner of Yukon Territory? A. Honorable Doug Phillips B. Honorable Angelique Bernard C. Honorable Jack Cable D. Honorable Douglas Bell Correct answer is B. Honorable Angelique Bernard Question 165 Which political party is in power in Nova Scotia? A. New Democrats B. Progressive Conservative C. Liberal D. Nova Scotia Party Correct answer is C. Liberal Question 166 What is the capital city of Yukon Territory? A. McRae B. Crestview C. Whitehorse D. Riverdale Correct answer is C. Whitehorse Question 167 Which political party is in power in Saskatchewan? A. NDP B. Saskatchewan Party C. Progressive Conservative D. Social Credit Correct answer is Saskatchewan Party. Question 168. What three industries are important to Saskatchewan's economy today? A. Forestry, Films, and Tourism. B. Fishing, Mining, and Agriculture. C. Mining, Oil Production, and Forestry. D. Farming, Mining, and Natural Gas. Correct answer is D. Farming, Mining, and Natural Gas. Question 169. What is the name of the Premier of Saskatchewan? A. Premier Lorne Calvert. B. Premier Brad Wall. C. Premier Scott Moe. D. Premier Len Taylor. Correct answer is C. Premier Scott Moe. Question 170. What is the name of the Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan? A. Honorable Dr. Gordon L. Barnhart. B. Honorable Vaughn Solomon Schofield. C. Honorable Russ Morasti. D. Honorable Linda Maureen Haverstock. Correct answer is. C. Honorable Russ Morasti. Question 171. What is the name of the leader of the opposition in Saskatchewan? A. Ryan Maley. B. Nicole Sarar. C. John Nilsson. D. Cambrodin. Correct answer is A. Ryan Maley. Question 172. What is the capital city of Saskatchewan? A. Regina. B. Avon Lee. C. Glenavon. D. Fort Quipel. Correct answer is A. Regina. Question 173. 
Which political party is in power in Quebec? A. Coalition of Avenir Quebec B. Parti Liberal C. Parti Québécois D. Union Nationale Correct answer is A. Coalition of Avenir Quebec Question 174 what three industries are important to Quebec's economy today? A. Tourism, mining, and forestry. B. Pulp and paper, forestry, and hydroelectric power. C. Films, fishing, and mining. D. Forestry, shipping, and tourism. Correct answer is B. Pulp and paper, forestry, and hydroelectric power. Question 175. What is the name of the Premier of Quebec? A. Premier Lucien Bouchard. B. Premier Pauline Merois. C. Premier Francois Legault. D. Premier Philippe Quillard. Correct answer is C. Premier Francois Legault. Question 176. What is the name of the leader of the opposition in Quebec? A. Dominique Anglade B. Pierre Arcand C. Jean-Marc Fernie D. Philippe Quillard Correct answer is A. Dominique Anglade Question 177 What is the capital city of the Quebec? A. Beauport B. Quebec City C. Montreal D. Chicoutimi Correct answer is B. Quebec City Question 178 Which political party is in power in Prince Edward Island? A. Progressive Conservative B. New Democrats C. Liberals D. Union Nationale Correct answer is A. Progressive Conservative Question 179 What is the name of the Premier of Prince Edward Island? A. Premier Wade McLaughlin B. Premier Dennis King C. Premier Pat Benz D. Premier Joe Giz Correct answer is B. Premier Dennis King Question 180 What is the name of the Lieutenant Governor of Prince Edward Island? A. Honorable Antoinette Peary B. Honorable H. Frank Lewis C. Honorable Barbara Oliver Hagerman D. Honorable Leon Sparnard Correct answer is a. Honorable Antoinette Peary Question 181 What is the name of the leader of the opposition in Prince Edward Island? A. Olive Crane B. Jamie Foxx C. Stephen Myers D. Peter Bevan Baker Correct answer is D. Peter Bevan Baker Question 182. What is the capital city of the Prince Edward Island? A. Cornwall B. Stratford C. Charlottetown D. Georgetown Correct answer is C. Charlottetown Question 183. Which three are members of Parliament for Ottawa? Ontario. A. Joe Clark, Adrian Clarkson, Mike Harris. B. David McKinda, Mona Fortier, Catherine McKenna. C. John Manley, Bob Chiarelli, Charlotte Witten. D. Jill Vigneault, Paul Dewar, Francois Boyvin. Correct answer is B. David McKinda, Mona Fortier, Catherine McKenna. Question 
section 184. Which three are members of Ontario's Legislative Assembly? A. Brian Kilria, Marlene Catterall, Tom Green. B. Howard Hampton, Maurice Richard, Daniel Poliquin. C. Daniel Lenoy, Rosario Marchese, Diane Duffres. D. Rod Phillips, Todd Smith, Michael Cotto. Correct answer is D. Rod Phillips, Todd Smith, Michael Cotto. Question 185. Which political party is in power in Ontario? A. Green Party. B. Liberal Party. C. Progressive Conservative Party. D. New Democratic Party. Correct answer is C. Progressive Conservative Party. Question 186. What three industries are important to Ontario's economy today? A. Mining, Fishing, Automobile Manufacturing B. Mining, Tourism, Automobile Manufacturing C. Farming, Tourism, Fishing D. Automobile Manufacturing, Tourism, Fishing Correct answer is B. Mining, Tourism, Automobile Manufacturing Question 187. What is the name of the Premier of Ontario? A. Premier Doug Ford. B. Premier Jack Layton. C. Premier Kathleen Wynne. D. Premier Mike Harris. Correct answer is A. Premier Doug Ford. Question 188. What is the name of the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario? A. James Bart Lehman. B. Elizabeth Dowdswell. C. David C. Onley. D. Belinda Stronach. Correct answer is B. Elizabeth Dowdswell. Question 189. What is the name of the Leader of the Opposition in Ontario? A. Andrea Horwath B. Tim Hudak C. Patrick Brown E. Dalton McGinty Correct answer is A. Andrea Horwath Question 190 What is the capital city of Ontario? A. Kingston B. Ottawa C. Toronto D. London. Correct answer is C. Toronto. Question 191. Which political party is in power in Nunavut? A. Progressive Conservative. B. Liberal. C. Nunavut Party. D. Governed by Consensus. Correct answer is D. Governed by Consensus. Question 192. What is the name of the Premier of Nunavut? A. Premier Paul Okalik. B. Premier Floyd Roland. C. Premier Jose Vakadhak. D. Premier Peter Taptuna. Correct answer is C. Premier Jose Vakadhak. Question 193. What is the name of the leader of the opposition in Nunavut? A. Don Morin. B. Joe Handley. C. Nunn. D. Eva Ariak. Correct answer is C. Nunn. Question 194. What is the name of the Commissioner of Nunavut? A. Honorable Peter Ernick. B. Honorable Anmika Jig Hansen. C. Honorable Eva Ariak. D. Honorable Nelly Tape Dekut Kosugak. Correct answer is D. 
Honorable Nelly Tape to cut Kosugog. Question 195. What is the capital city of the Nunavut? A. Sinat. B. Akaluit. C. Nipissa. D. Mivik. Correct answer is B. Akaluit. Question 196. Which political party is in power in the Northwest Territories? A. Yukon Party. B. Liberals. C. Governed by Consensus. D. New Democrats. Correct answer is C. Governed by Consensus. Question 197. What is the name of the Premier of the Northwest Territories? A. Premier Bob McLeod B. Premier Caroline Cochran C. Premier Joe Handley D. Premier Jim Antoine Correct answer is B. Premier Caroline Cochran Question 198 what is the name of the leader of the opposition in the Northwest Territories? A. Nunn B. George Braden C. Don Morin D. Nelly Cornwallia Correct answer is A. Nunn Question 199 What is the name of the Commissioner of the Northwest Territories? A. Honorable Margaret Tom. B. Honorable Tony Whitford. C. Honorable Daniel L. Norris. D. Honorable Glenna Hansen. Correct answer is A. Honorable Margaret Tom. Question 200 What is the capital city of the Northwest Territories? A. Fort Simpson. B. Hay River C. Fort Providence D. Yellowknife Correct answer is D. Yellowknife Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.